Hello buddies and welcome back, it's Anne Sophie and today I have the Huawei Mate 50 Pro for you and together we will go through the first steps and set it up. So this is the phone when it comes out of the box, this is the back, pretty fancy camera setup here, um, like a mirror kind of um, back and now we turn that on um, and it welcomes us um, you can select between different languages make an emergency call then here is a reading aid so you can like customize your um, text size and also the magnification um, that's up to you we get started now so select a region we are in Germany so we click on Germany you can choose between any other region you're in and then click on next terms of use and use a software license agreement you pretty much don't have any other option than say I have carefully read and agree to the terms then click on next and now it says insert a sim card we have a separate video for that so we're not going to do that now and skip this part connect to a network um, you want to connect to a network to like download apps use whatsapp or um, i don't know watch youtube videos um, so you want to connect to your wi-fi you see like keyboard fast accurate safe and fun sure and then the next step is to put in your password. I'm gonna do that real quick. So now I put in my password. If you click on this little eye here, it will show you your password. And then you can just check if you like put it in right. Um, and then you click on connect. And there you see you're now connected to your Wi-Fi. Next step, data and privacy. Um, Huawei is committed to keep your personal data safe. So if you click on details, you probably just have more information about the data and privacy things. Um, you can read through it and then click on next. Next up is device protection. So you can set up a fingerprint or a face ID or another password. Um, we also have a separate video for that. So we're gonna skip this one right here. Huawei ID gives you access to all of Huawei's cloud services. Uh, we just click on next and then there is the Huawei ID. All right. And then we need to put in our information or if you don't have a Huawei ID, um, you can create a new account here. So when you log in into your Huawei account, it will ask you to verify yourself. So you get an SMS or an email to put in a code and then um, it will take you to the next step. Now we're at the next step, the cloud automatically back up and encrypt your data for secure storage, um, sync photos, contacts and more for easy access on all your devices. Um, cloud backup, gallery contacts, you can like enable them um, and then it will save them but you also have the option to enable later in the settings and we click on next now there pops up another cloud privacy notice um, click on next and now we're on our next slide find device you can access find device on a huawei device or at cloud.huawei.com um, so find my phone and send location you can turn that on and off and then click on next so now we are on the next slide and it forces us um, to set a six digit pin um, you can change the unlock method here but we don't have the option to skip that so we need to put in a pin um, but we also have another video on how to change your screen lock um, so we put in The pin now okay and then next slide media services you can read through it get more information agree like click on them and agree to them or you say you do it later Huawei in-app purchases after adding a payment method you can use it to make secure payments in app gallery cloud and themes so you can add a bank card um, or phone number that's connected with your bank card um, to make 
purchases on this phone um, but you can also say at later and obviously you don't have to do so then we have some hms core provides basic services such as Huawei id map and location services so you have some things you can enable and disable here um, you can read through it and then click on next. So here you have further services from Huawei. Um, you can read through it and then enable all services, set up enhanced services or you say no thanks. User experience improvement program. So more things Huawei wants from us. Um, you can join or you say later. Share analytics. So help improve Huawei's interfaces. You can click on enable or you see later. Location services. So this will scan your location. Um, it's useful for like Google Maps or something. Um, so you can say enable or later. I'm going to say enable. Keep your software up to date. Enable overnight updates to enjoy the la latest features, enhance security and service improvements. So you don't have any other option than to enable and continue. So you got to do it. Um, and then we come to data import. So you can transfer data from an old device to this new device. You don't have to do it. Sometimes it's nice to start fresh. Um, but you can totally choose to do so, um, then I will say what you need to do for it, like get a cable, get your old device and all those things. Um, but you have the option to say set up as new device. Then we come to new navigation gestures, get around your device faster with navigation gestures, simply swipe to go back, return home or view recent task, give them a try. So we say try gestures, swipe inward from the left edge, nice, from the right edge, and to go to the bottom. Ah, oh, all right. Congratulations. So um, you can choose to use these gestures, um, but we can also change the navigation mode and that is to the three key navigation. Uh, I feel like the swiping thingy is more like an um, Apple navigation kind of style. And this is like the good old Android kind of style. Um, you can totally choose whatever you like best. Um, I'm gonna go with the three dots here and say finish. And then we come to app gallery. These are some selected apps that the phone wants us to have, um, but you can disable them and also like enable new ones by clicking on them. Um, I'm not gonna go with any of these. Um, you can also say select all, um, deselect all, and then you can go to the next slide. And here we are on our home screen. When you swipe right, um, you see a ton of games and other apps this phone already downloaded for us. These are the first steps on your Huawei Mate 50 Pro. I hope you liked it. I hope it helped. If so, thumbs up, share and subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.